The Higher Education Secretary maintains that IBSU's approval for registration as a university was merely political and its accreditation as a higher learning institution was temporary and had expired on October this year. The issue was brought to light when MTV queried why IBSU was not registered and excluded in the national selections. IBSU was established at the beginning as a TAFE college and registered on the PINJ IP and the Company Act. Later on, they had aspiration to be a university. To be a university in our country, institution has to meet 12 standards for quality assurance to be accredited. So they got accreditation, temporary accreditation for three years as a credit. Yeah. During these three years, they're supposed to apply for independent institutional accreditation. They didn't. However, IBSU claims they have met the requirements and is registered as per a gazetted notice on 24th of January 2017. The government has recognized that IBS as a university and if the department has endorsed this application to the National Executive Council, that means we believe that department is recognizing us as a university. After the broadcast of this story, the Higher Education Secretary says the only body to recommend an establishment of any institution is the National Higher Technical Education Board. According to our law in our country, the only body which can recommend the establishment of institution of higher learning or university is the National Higher Technical Education Board. That's the only body. This body was in existence. The board was existing. I was the chairman of the board. Never any application came from IBS. And he has called on IBSU to take responsibility. While the blame game continues, IBSU confirmed that they have written 500 acceptance letters to school leavers who had chosen IBSU to study for the 2018 academic year. IBSU says the numbers are expected to increase and they will assist students to reapply. Those who have selected IBS uh, University as their next destination, they can contact and we will enroll them. We will continue our degree programs because we got the blessing from the highest authority of the country. So if we, if anyone has to withdraw it, that highest authority has to withdraw. So therefore, uh, we have no reason to do that because we have done everything properly according to the Higher Education General Provision Act. Yeah. So we, we, will, we will stay in the situations where we are and our legal rights will be taken into account. In the meantime, Father Yan says his responsibility as a secretary to the department is to protect the credibility of qualifications for higher education institution. If IBS wants to be a university, they have to demonstrate they are matching our standards. And they got from me four letters inviting them to go through the external academic audit to be recognized. They refused. So I don't know why they are refusing. Papua New Guineans should be aware that the institution which is not recognized by our system, if they put their children, they put their children on their own risk. And as a secretary for the higher education sector, I will do everything to protect the academic currency of our degrees, diplomas, or certificates. I cannot compromise. Stacy Yalo, National MTV News.